to DTV. Now, in the life of an AFL footballer, you never stop learning, but today the boys are learning how to cook. Let's go see what they're up to. Uh, Rory, what are you cooking there? What are we cooking? Yeah, lamb, and then just a couple of veggies to go with it. So. And would you consider yourself a Master Chef, Rory? No, uh, no, not quite yet. Maybe after a couple more lessons. Uh, Jai, what are you cooking here? Um, a healthy Indian chicken curry. Uh, is this a specialty of yours? Uh, it's the first time I've cooked it, so I don't know yet. And what part of the cooking process are you up to at the moment? Uh, just cooking the, uh, the onions and the garlic. And just doing the chopping of the chicken and... Yeah. Have you got any tips to not cry when you're cooking the onion? Sharp knives. Apparently, apparently the only reason you cry is if you've got knife sharp, so not sharp. So Great tip. Know. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> now, Lisa, you're here supervising the boys during their cooking class. Can you tell me how it came about and how important it is for the boys to learn to cook? Thanks, Joshy Tynan, for that, by the way. But uh, yeah, we have invested, you know, asked them to invest in their future and one part of their future is, you know, elite performance and preparing to obviously play. So a whole heap of different ideas with protein and carbohydrates and sometimes the player is just unaware of what actually to eat. So we put it to the playing group who wanted to be involved with some extra cooking classes and we were lucky enough to have 10 guys who were prepared to invest in their, I suppose, their preparation for footy. Now, Jason, you are head of the communal kitchen, yes. where we are today. Can yeah. you tell me how are the boys going? They're really good. From our first class, it's a four-week course, their knife skills were great, and their attention to detail was, I was completely amazed by it. But they love to learn, love to cook, love to eat, and the classes have been successful because of it. Yeah. Fantastic. And Jasmine, who would you say has been a standout in today's class? Oh, I think Jake is quite good, but Jai's got attention to detail and has great palate. Fantastic palette. Do you think any of them have a career as a master chef post football? I think if it all fails, they can work with me in the kitchen. We're about to have a taste testing of the chicken noodle soup. We've got Watsi, Rory and Cookie who are anxiously waiting upon Jai Sheen's final decision about who cooked the best soup. How are you feeling, Jack? Oh, a bit nervous. We've put a lot into this. Uh, blood, sweat and tears and uh, hopefully mine comes out on top. Let's find out. Verdict. Not bad. Not mm -hmm. bad. You winning so far, I'll give you that much. How are you feeling, Rory? Oh, yeah. Uh, pretty confident. Pretty confident. Should be alright. Let me guess. Oh, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> not bad. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to a shaky start no, here. Cookie, start. can you redeem yourself? No, I've conceded. <laughs> <laughs> It was a it was a pretty close draw. Um, they're all pretty similar, but I'm about to have to go with what to do. Oh. Oh, I'm pretty pretty happy with that actually. Um, seeing as me and Tags actually cooked ours in the same bowl, um, to come out on top <laughs> is a great result. Congratulations. Thanks very much. Thanks, Jimmy.